Hi, my name is Antonis and I am an iconographer. Thank you for being here and for commenting, asking questions and uh, subscribing. It's really nice of you. For today's video, I decided to, to draw the metrics of the facial characteristics just for our uh, beginner iconographer uh, friends who, has, who have uh, asked me a um, long time now to do some uh, back to basic uh, courses. So for this, I'm gonna draw today uh, the basic facial characteristics. So let's say we we need to draw an eye that is uh, four centimeters in length. We will measure half of uh, this length, that is two centimeters, to mark the the height of uh, the width of the eye. So when we draw an eye, this should be um, the the width of the eye should be half of its uh, length, as you see here. The eye that I'm drawing uh, right now, it's uh, four centimeters in uh, length and uh, two centim centimeters in uh, height, let's say. I pay attention to make the line uh, uh, thicker in the middle of the upper lid. So one centimeter above the, the eyelid, I make my second eyelid. Of course, when we draw, nothing is uh, written on stone. The eyes are uh, can vary a little bit. So I'm just uh, showing you a basic uh, classic eye. Now, when I'm painting the iris, you have to know that the iris, the width of uh, the iris is the same as uh, the um, width of the eye. It's, uh, in this case, uh, this iris is uh, two centimeters or maybe just a little bit less than that, but approximately two centimeters in length. And uh, the, the pupil should be attached to the upper lid. The shape of the iris is uh, never a, a perfect uh, sphere. It's something like uh, an ellipse. Uh, let's say the shape of uh, an egg and uh, the iris uh, shouldn't be drawn in the center of uh, the pupil but uh, attached to the upper lid. So I measure four centimeters uh, um, apart from the beginning of the first eye that I have drawn and then I'm measuring uh, four more centimeters to draw my second eye, as you see here. Again, the, the width of this eye is half of its length, that is uh, two centimeters. And uh, the pupil is uh, almost uh, two centimeters in, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the iris is almost two centimeters in uh, length. Now make sure that uh, when you paint the, the irises, they shouldn't be um, as if uh, they are cross-looking one to the other, or that you don't paint the, the pupil in the middle of uh, the iris. These are some common mistakes that uh, beginner iconographers uh, do. So for the nose, the nose is almost uh, something uh, 
the, it's like two eyes and something in most cases like I measure two eyes and uh, just a little bit more in some uh, cases uh, the nose is just uh, the the length of two eyes is two eyes uh, but in many cases most uh, noses are uh, two eyes and something more so when I have this uh, length of the total uh, nose, I divide uh, this length uh, into th into three uh, into threes. And uh, I start drawing the nose accordingly. My third uh, part will be the, um, the tip of the nose with uh, the nostrils. So I take some extra care to, to observe uh, my reference and try to draw the nose as carefully as I can. The nostrils shouldn't be as uh, thick as the mid uh, section of uh, the nose. And uh, I have to remember that uh, what I draw with pencil is supposed to be a grapsmo on the proplasmos. And I have to remember where the photosma will, uh, will fall when I paint. Anyway, so I measure again uh, two centimeters, half uh, the length of my eye, and uh, I mark uh, uh, the place where the midline of my nose will fall, will be painted. The length of the of the mouth is the same as the length of the eye. I draw my uh, upper lip and uh, then I draw also my uh, lower lip. The width of uh, the mouth should be one third of its length, approximately of course. And I'm drawing now the, the, lo the lower lip. I simplify the shape in my head and I try to, to see if uh, the upper and the lower lip can make this uh, shape that looks like uh, a cauldron. This helps me um, correct uh, my drawing. So these are the basic uh, metrics of uh, the facial characteristics. I then like to add uh, my eyebrows. I like this exercise because uh, I'm, I can experiment with uh, the facial expression, make the, the face uh, sometimes look uh, calm, angry, um, sad, melancholic. It's nice to play around with uh, the irises and the pupils and uh, see what we can make of it. So again, the, the width of the eye is uh, half of its length, four centimeters apart 
one eye from the other. The, the length of the nose is uh, two eyes and something. And uh, then we divide the nose in thirds. The last third is the tip of our nose. The mid middle line of our, of our mouth is uh, half of uh, the length of the nose, of the eye. Again, thank you so much for uh, being here. Let me know if this uh, tutorial, this course was uh, helpful for you, for our beginner iconographers. And uh, I will uh, see you again soon. Have a blessed week. Bye.